Today, we are going to write the formula for the ionic compound potassium dichromate. So let's work from left to right. I first see potassium, so I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where potassium is. And aha, I found it. It's right here, right? Potassium is K. K for Christina. That's me. Not potassium, right? I don't know where they got K from potassium, but whatever. Group 1 is all metals, right? They're alkali metals, except for hydrogen. Hydrogen is a nonmetal, but they all share the common charge of being a plus 1. So I'm going to put potassium being K is a plus 1 charge. Now I go to the next part. I see that I have dichromate. It's an A-T-E ending. And remember, guys, all A-T-E's are polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions are never going to be found on the periodic table. That's what makes them a little challenging, but you just have to memorize them. So I wrote down what dichromate is. Dichromate is Cr2O7, and then with the negative 2 charge. So I'm just going to put that up here. So just memorize this as dichromate, flash card it out, draw it out, do whatever you got to do, but you're probably going to have to memorize your, your polyatomics. Now since we have the two uh, components, all we're going to do is we're going to take those charges and crisscross them to get the subscripts. So this plus one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one of the dichromates, and this negative two crisscrosses down that I just need two of the potassiums. When you crisscross, don't worry about the positives and the negatives, and basically these go bye-bye. So you're only focusing on the subscripts or how many you have. So let's go for it. I have potassium, that's K. It's telling me that I have two of them, so i got to write K2. And now since I only have one of my dichromate, I don't need parentheses. So I'm just going to say cr 2 7 You don't have to write the one either. And that's it. Potassium dichromate is K2Cr2O7. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. And thank you so much for that. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.